Recording in progress. All right, let's begin our class. So have your bolster and have your blocks. These are the two things you're going to need. So we're going to use the bolster for stretching as well as for some Pilates. All right, so go ahead and lay down. Place your tailbone right along the bolster and align your spine, your vertebral column along the bolster. Stretch the arms and the legs out. And before we even begin, just that good morning stretch, really interlace your fingers. Stretch the arms overhead, really stretch the belly out. Stretch the whole spine, flex the toes, point the toes, just warm up. Rotate the ankles, rotate the wrists. Good, and let's breathe before we begin. So five deep breaths here, inhale for six, hold for three, exhale for six, cycle of five. One more time. Good. All right. Time to grab one of your blocks. Take a transverse. Feet together. Keep your uh, tailbone right by the edge or end of your bolster. Keep your uh, block facing upward towards the ceiling. Using the abdominal muscles, take a deep inhale to prep. Exhale, work your way up. Keep the arms up just like this. Keep the back straight, work on your posture. Pelvic floor in and up, navel to the spine. Nice flat back, shoulders away from the ears. And now C-shaped spine, work your way down. Notice my arms aren't doing anything at all. No movement in the arms. They stay stationary, always facing the ceiling. Okay, so we're gonna do this eight times. Inhale to breath. Exhale, come up. Good, inhale. Exhale, come down. That was eight. Seven, inhale to breath. Exhale, come up. Inhale to breath. Exhale, come down. Six, inhale to prep. Exhale, come up. Notice I'm not swinging at all, just using my core. Inhale to prep. Exhale, come down. Really use those abdominal muscles. Don't move your arms, no swinging. Okay, five, inhale to prep. Exhale, come up. Inhale to prep. Exhale, come down. Four. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, now we're going to twist. So we're going to come up, bring the block in front of you. That's the difference. Turn to the left, let go of the block, hold it with your left hand. Return, hold it with both hands, come down. Repeat on the other side, here we go. So the block is facing the ceiling, roll it up. Block is facing forward, parallel to the ground in front of you. Let go of the block, block goes to the right hand, twist to the right, and come back, repeat on both sides, okay? Eight more, here we go. 
Inhale to prep. Exhale, twist. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay, sitting up. I'm gonna face you. Bend by the ears, elephant ears, and take your right knee, left elbow and twist, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do a total of eight. Focus on, I know it's hard, try to keep the back straight as you twist, okay? Here we go, inhale to prep, exhale, twist right knee, left elbow. You can lean back a little bit. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, inhale. Exhale, in between we do some yoga poses just to stretch out those muscles that were contracting. Three deep breaths here. Slowly come up, cross at the legs. So I like this one because I've done it before. Um, why do I like it? Well, because we're stretching and contracting at the same time. So it's a combo, and that's what this class is all about. It's, it's Pilates and yoga fusion. So we're gonna stretch those hips, lean forward like this, and then come up into a tabletop, uncross your legs, lift the hips up, one leg comes up, keep the hips up, keep the hips up, and then bring them down, cross over again, lean forward, tabletop, come up, and then lift the left leg up. Same thing, keep repeating. Alternating legs. All right, here we go. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, keep the hips up. One. Good. Okay. Here's what we're doing next. Grab the blocks. This is pure Pilates. Put it together behind you. And then come and sit on it. <clears throat> and imagine that you're sawing your legs, okay? Now this doesn't have to be a big straddle. It's not about stretching here. Just open up to wherever you feel good, okay? Keep that back nice and straight, neutral spine. Bring the arms out. Now, C-shaped spine, we're gonna round that back, navel to the spine, Pull that pelvic floor in and up. So tuck in and up, really engaging the abs, okay? Tuck in, all right, so pelvic floor in and up, navel to the spine, C-shaped spine, okay? Turn, and then the movement is micro movement, soft, soft. So it's like a pulse, pulse over the side, okay? Then you're gonna return, straighten out the back, C-shaped spine, repeat on the other side. Okay, here we go. 10 of these. Arms out. Take a deep breath, in, down to breath. Excess could pull around that back. Engage the abs, pulse, pulse. In and up, back straight. Scoop pull around that back. Twist, pulse, 
pulse. Good, keep going. Seven. Six. Five. Doesn't look like I'm doing much, but oh, is it a lot because you're working the abs if you're doing it properly. Four. Three, engage the abs, squeeze the abdominal muscles, pelvic floor in and up, navel to the spine, C-shaped spine, back straight. Two more. One more. Good. Okay. Bring the legs together. All right. Go to the edge, as you can see. I'm at an angle, so this makes it a little bit easier. Notice my pelvic floor is in and up, and able to sign that straight back. Fingertips can touch the ground. We're gonna do leg lifts. You're gonna feel this in the hip flexors, and you may even have the quads saying hello. <laughs> Sometimes if they're really weak, you'll, you'll feel it cramp up. Um, so let's see what we can do. We're gonna do eight on both sides. So we're gonna start with the right leg, elevate, Eight times. Here we go. Eight, seven. Keep the back straight. Navel to the spine. Engage the abs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Stretch forward. Stretching hamstrings. Good. Come back. Back nice and straight. And we're going to elevate the left leg. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, stretch. <clears throat> all right, come on off the mat. Use your blocks. We're gonna do triceps now. Notice my heels are on the ground, but my toes are facing the ceiling. Knees are bent. <clears throat> Have your fingers overflow all the way to the edge of the blocks. You're going to lift the hips up and don't move the hips, move the elbows. So flex at the elbows, bend all the way down and dip and come back up. Here we go. Nine, <clears throat> eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, stretching the triceps, take that right hand to the left elbow, stretch it out and switch. Good. All right, take the blocks away. Just for now. Come down onto your back. Okay, so the classic um, Pilates move is to keep the chest up, head up. Keep your knees apart so you can see between the legs. All right, so we're gonna come down with the toes, bring the arms back, and then come up, okay? Now, if you have neck issues, which many of us do, you might want to do this maybe one or two. I like to do it this way, but sometimes that might be too much. So for me, depending on where my neck is today, probably one block might do it. All right, so if you've slept wrong or you have neck issues, just support it. Okay, here we go. Tap, arms behind you, and return. Okay, and we move back so I won't get the photos. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Rest, lay down. Two more breaths. All 
One more breath. Okay, take the block again behind your head if you need to. If not, you don't need to do it. And we're gonna do the classic teaser. So bend the knees, 90 degrees. Hands again are parallel to the hips. But this time we're gonna extend the legs, arms overhead, bring the arms out and return. Okay, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, keep going, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. All right, rest again. This time we're gonna work the glutes and then come back to the abs. So prep as you rest, place this block between the thighs. Take this other block, transverse. Place it right on top of the first block between the thighs. Shoulder bridges, squeeze the thighs together, squeeze the buttocks, squeeze the core, the abs, as you bring the arms up over the head and lift the pelvis up, shoulder bridges. All right, 10 of these. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shoulder bridge with one leg. Bend this right knee, elevate it up. This left foot is gonna, you're gonna drive it down into the ground as you lift your pelvis up. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy baby, stretch it out. Rock back and forth. And roll it up. All right, some more ab work. Um, we're going to see if we can balance on our buttocks. Toe tap down and work the hip flexors and the abs. So here we go, just like this. Cross at the uh, chest. So you're going to come back, toe tap, and up. So it's an easy uh, ab work. However, the repetitions is what gets you. All right, so we're going to do 10 of them. Balance here. Back straight, tuck in. Now open, toe tap, and return. 10, nine, and balancing is hard. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. See, it gets hard. Two, once you feel the fatigue, You'll feel it in the hip flexors and the abs. Good, turn and stretch those abs and stretch the hip flexors in seal pose. Good, maybe even a downward dog, stretch the abs, stretch the shoulders. Good, come down into child's pose. And rotate again. This time, different ab exercise. You're gonna take just one block 
And we're gonna do tuck ups. How does this work? Well, you're gonna come into a boat like this, hold the block, tuck up, take the block to the ankles, and then come back, okay? <laughs> it's not easy, so pace yourself. We're gonna do 10, but if you can't do 10, if you do five, that's good enough for me. Once we're done, we're gonna rotate again onto your belly, the seal pose, stretch the abs and the hip flexors. We never want to just contract muscles. We wanna elongate and stretch them so we get that nice, sleek, muscular look and not a bulky look. Okay, here we go. Find your boat, hold your block, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Turn around, seal pose, stretch it out. Spread the legs. Curl the toes, stretch out and down with up. Legs apart. Good, child's pose. Stay here, three breaths. Good, turn back around. Okay, here's what we're doing next. <clears throat> Take the block again. Find your balance on the hips. You're going to take the block to the right, tuck it into the chest. Take the block to the left, tuck it into the chest. Again, it doesn't look hard one or two, but when you rep it out to 10, then you really feel it. Okay, so pace yourself again. If you can do 10, great. If you just do five, that's perfectly fine. All right. Find your balance. Lift the legs up. First, see if you're balanced before you start moving. Hold the block by the chest. Okay, extend the elbows and stretch the block over to the right. Really twist, use those obliques and come back. Nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, Five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Good. All right, back to seal. Stretch it out. You know that you felt that. I felt it. Good. Downward dog again. Stretch it out. And child's pose. Okay, here's what we're doing next. We're actually gonna raise our heart rate doing this. We have a few minutes left. So you're gonna do 10 body ups and then 10 pop tarts. And I'll show you what pop tarts look like. So 10 body ups first. We've done that one before. So let's start with. Uh, the body ups. You're going to come into a uh, prone position on the belly. Take the hands by your chest area, shoulders, hugging the body, elbows hugging the body, shoulders away from the ears. Curl the toes under. No banana back. I don't want to see that. Engage the abs as you come up to push up position. That's the body up. Body up, body down. Okay? Here we go. 10. Nine, and try not to stop too long. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, One, and push into downward dog, stretch it out. Good, 
child's first. All right, catch your breath. So now we're gonna do body up or pop tart, I should say. It's similar to body up, but you're gonna hop up and then elevate on your toes. But instead of coming down onto your belly, you're coming from push up position. So you've already done the body up, this is pop tart. Okay, elevate on your toes. Pop back into push up position or plank. Okay, so pop tarts, 10. It's not a big hop. If you're a beginner, you can step, step. So right foot down, left foot down, whatever floats your boat. But I want you to engage the lower legs, the gastrocnemius soleus complex right here, the calves, when you come up on the tippy toes. All right, so you've done your body ups. Now you're in plank. Okay, pop up and go up on your tippy toes, pop down. Okay, pop up, go up on your tippy toes, releve, come down. Eight. Seven, you can make it fast and fluid. Six. Five, try to engage the abs, no belly, no belly arching like this, right? Keep the belly engaged. Up, four, three, two, and one. Good. Walk the hands out, walk the feet out, downward dog, stretch it out. You're gonna come into child's pose. All right. We're gonna move into side planks. This one's hard. Not gonna lie. We've done Pilates now for a number of weeks together. So I think we can attempt this. I would say, hmm, let's just do five on both sides. So the side plank into what's called threading the needle. So let me demonstrate what that looks like. Oh, my daughter's dog was here and I know already that she was on my mat. I just had a taste of the hair, <laughs> gross. Okay, here we go. Side plank, hand on the hip, elevate and pipe. You see how I'm elevating my hip? Thread that arm underneath the left armpit towards the back and then back into the hip area. You could also do it like this, arm up towards the ceiling and thread, whatever floats your boat. Okay, here we go, five, inhale to breath, exhale twist, Bend from the hips, bring that right arm under and return. Four, notice my whole side is flat. Don't stick the butt out here. Here's where you stick the butt out pipe and bring that right hand underneath the left armpit and then return into side plank, but it's squeezed, nice long line. Three, two, notice I'm pivoting from the balls of the feet and one. Good, all right, other side. Let's rest first in this mermaid pose, three breaths. Two breaths. One more breath. All right, place your right hand down. Left foot in front, right foot behind you. Come into plank, check your body, make sure it's lined up, squeeze the butt, squeeze the abs. You could keep the left hand up or by the hip, whatever floats your boat. Pivot from the poles of the feet, pike, bend at the hips, flex. Take this left hand underneath the right armpit, bring it all the way over and back, okay? Five. 
four, three, two, and this is my weak side. I can feel it because I had a shoulder injury and just feeling unstable. So you'll see both sides might be different. Okay, cross up the legs, close your eyes. Take three deep breaths. All right, we're gonna do the side leg series. Side leg series and we'll be all done. So let's go ahead and come down onto the right side. Take the right hand behind the head. Bring the legs up, left leg up even higher. Have the right leg leap the left. Up you go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heels together, turn me in. Clam shell, open and close. So left knee comes down to the right knee and it opens. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Other side. Legs up, right leg up. Left leg just below, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heels together, turn in, and open and close. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, we are done. And the next half hour is yoga and meditation. Let it cross your legs. Palms up or down, whatever feels good for you today. Lengthen the spine, shoulders down and away from the ears. Lengthen the neck, tuck the chin in slightly. With your eyes closed, let's do the six three six three breath cycle of five. All right, open the eyes, raise the arms up, inhale, exhale, grab position, and let's set the intention for the remainder of this practice. You can say it out loud or quietly in your head. I am fierce, I am strong, I am balanced. I am fierce, I am strong, I am balanced. I am fierce, I am strong, I am balanced. Palms overhead, three deep breaths. Stretch the arms out. Fingertips touching the ground, chin to the chest. Good. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Three more. Inhale, raise the arms up. 
Exhale, chin to the chest. Two more. And one more. Rotate that left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to the chest. Right ear to the right shoulder. Chin to the chest. Good. Bring the head over to the right. Come to the center. To the left. Come to the center. Hands on the uh, knees. Scoop hollow and round the back. Let's move into cat cow. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Keep going. Three. Two. One. Stretch forward. Roll it up, switch, stretch forward again, walk the hands over to the right side, walk the hands over to the left side, left elbow down, right hand over the head. Good, bring both arms up, other side. Good, bring both arms up, other side. And both arms up, inhale, exhale, twist, look over this right shoulder. Four breaths. And bring both arms up. Exhale, twist. Over to the left, four breaths. And let's flow. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. Good. Rotate. Rotate forwards. Take the hands. Interlace, oh, shoulder popped. I don't know if you heard it all the way from here. <laughs> okay, so your hands are interlaced, palm forward. And gently come up. All right, straighten out the legs, flex the toes. Bring the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward four deep breaths here. Gently come up. Bend this right knee. Take the sole of the right foot to the inner left thigh. Squaring the hips, bring the arms up. Hinge forward. Take the left hand behind the back. Gently come up, switch, straight out the right leg. Sole of the left foot to the inner right thigh. Square the hips. Bring the arms up, hinge forward. Take the right hand behind the back. Good. Slowly come up. Butterfly sitting up. Back nice and straight, hinge forward. Use your elbows to open up the thigh muscles, inner thigh, the adductors. Gently come up and create a diamond shape with the legs turn and close. Four breaths here. 
Then gently come up, open up into extended wide angle pose. Find your bolster, slide forward, and slide up. Okay, five of these. Five, four, three, Two, one. Over to the side, right hand to left foot. Four breaths. Keep your left hand on the bolster. Slowly come up. Left hand up and over. And gently come up. Okay, bring the legs together, shake it up, work your way down, down onto your back. Shoulder bridge, but this time we're gonna hold it. And you can take the hands to the heels, you can interlace them or you can support the back. Here we go, lift the pelvis up, scoot the shoulders close to each other. I like to support my back. Four breaths here. Keep the feet flat. I don't want to see this. Heels down, you get a better stretch. Four breaths here. One more breath. And slowly come down. Take the hands to the soles of the feet. Rock it out left to right. Find your bolster. Nice, easy inversion. Take this bolster underneath your tailbone, below the lower back, legs and arms up. Hold here for about a minute or two. All right, time to bring the legs down. Arms overhead, stretch, stretch, stretch. Tuck the right knee into the chest. Four breaths here. And switch. Four breaths here. And release, good. All right, take the bolster away. Tuck the knees into the chest, draw the knees over to the left, upper body to the right.
and come up. Draw the knees over to the right. Upper body just to the left. Slowly come up, cross up the ankles, hands behind the knees, round your back. And when you're ready, take the bolster behind the knees and relax. Okay, last 15 minutes will be a nice long guided meditation after this rigorous Pilates and small little tiny portion of restorative yoga. Closing your eyes, get settled into the mat. As I guide you into progressive muscle relaxation. So let us begin with your toes. Go ahead and point and flex your toes. Point and flex. Take a deep breath. On the exhale, let it go. Completely relax. Relaxing the feet. Bring your awareness down to the lower legs, knees, and thighs. Squeeze the muscles tight. Take a deep breath. Exhale, relax, and let go. Come to the glutes. And if you have enough strength, lift them up off the mat. Take a deep breath, squeeze the muscles, exhale, relax the muscles. Let them melt into the ground. Come to the belly breath. Take a deep breath and hold that breath just in the abdomen. Hold and inflate the belly like a balloon. Now open the mouth, big sigh, let it out. Now take that breath and bring it up into the chest and rib cage and hold. Big sigh, let it out. Now take the deepest breath, belly, chest, rib cage, all the way up to the collarbone, hold. Big sigh, let it out. Come to the hands, lift the hands up, squeeze, make a tight fist. Inhale, stretch the fingers out. Exhale, release and let go. Come to the shoulders, lift the shoulders up towards the ears. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release and let go. Come to the facial muscles, squeeze and squint the face tight. Stretch the face, open the mouth, stick out the tongue, release and let go. Letting go of the lower jaw from the upper jaw. Relaxing the lips, the cheeks, the nose. Relaxing the eyes, the forehead, and the scalp. Scan the body from head to toe for any remaining pockets of tension. Breathe into that joint space or muscle. And on that exhale, let go of the tension. Breathing in relaxation and exhaling out any tension. 
Breathing in the positive energy. Exhaling out any negativity. Thoughts may pop up, worries, to-do lists, past conversations. These are just fleeting thoughts. They are not who you truly are. See them as flowing energy. That's all they are, electrochemical impulses. And once you dissipate, your mind settles into the peaceful bliss, awakening to your peaceful self, the soul. The soul is the divine spark within us all. See it emanate from the center of the heart, fully expanding out from the heart across the chest, arms, rising up the spinal cord to the brain, bathing the brain in white light, a healing soul level energy, transmuting and transforming all fear-based thinking, reactionary thinking, into calm reactions to the environment in a balanced way. See that light across all the brain cells, down the spinal cord, and across all the organs and organ systems, down the trunk, pelvis, thighs, knees, lower legs, ankles, and through the feet. Visualize your whole physical body lit up with the light of your soul. Healed, balanced. Now go ahead and take that soul to your beautiful place, your place of serenity, your sacred space. See yourself by the beach walking early morning. See yourself there walking the sand. The sun is out, but the sand is warm. It is not hot. Walk towards the water. As the waves come crashing in, Envision the water cleansing away all negativity, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. As your heels dig in deeper and deeper into the sand and the water ebbs and flows, each time the water flows out into the sea, envision the movement of that energy that no longer serves for your highest good, departing your body, your physical body, your emotional body, your mental body, your spiritual body. Stay there, breathe in the salty air, feel the ocean breeze wash over the body. And now slowly walk away from the shoreline and find the soft sand to lay down Allow the body to imprint in the sand. Allow Mother Earth to cradle you in relaxation. And very gently and slowly take in the energy of the sun as you look up at the sky. No clouds, just the morning sun. Gently and slowly resonate with the energy. Engage with the nourishing warmth. Feel that warmth across the feet, ankles, lower legs, knees and thighs, across the hips and sacrum, the abdomen and up the spine, reaching the chest, the heart and lungs relax. When you embrace the sun's rays across 
shoulders and arms, forearms, wrists, palms, and fingertips. Feel that warmth across the neck muscles and face. And finally, the scalp. And as that heat is released from the body, you are left at peace. The body remains relaxed. The breath is calm. The mind is clear. Your soul uplifted. Stay in your sacred space. Enjoy the peace and serenity. Slowly come back at the sound of the bell. Come back into the body, wiggle the fingers, the toes, stretch the arms and the legs. Yawn if you need to. Turn over to the right or to the left side. As I pull out by Kyle Gray, the Angel Prayers Oracle cards, let's see what the message is for today. Hmm. Beautiful message. The inner voice. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. So as we reflect and contemplate on that message, let's do one minute of meditation before we end class. If your mind wanders, bring it back on task. You could use any technique, counting the breaths for a minute, a prayer of your own faith, an affirmation, whatever floats your boat. So at the sound of the bell, let's begin. Slowly come back, take a deep breath, raise the arms up, exhale breath position, and thank yourself for coming to the mat today, practicing Pilates and yoga, being strong, fierce, and balanced, remembering that each day is a gift, granted and never promised, Use it wisely, find your purpose, and always focus on self-development. And remember that a life worth living is a life fulfilled with joy and health. Your health is your greatest wealth, so honor it, cherish it, continue your practice. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste to you all. All right. See you next time. I'm going to end with Zoom first. Bye.